What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Themes and in today's video you're gonna learn a simple, fine and effective way to install extensions to your iPhone Safari mobile browser. So the very first step is go to your settings and into the settings you scroll down so you can see your apps and locate the browser, the Apple browser. Once you click on it, we can scroll down a little bit more until we can find this nice and good options called extensions. And here we can see that we do not have extensions yet, so we're gonna need to install some ones. And to install extensions, we're gonna click on this button and it's gonna open the app store where we can see some fine and recommended extensions. I'm gonna be installing one to save iPhone memory and load the websites faster. It's, a, it's an ad blocker. It's not a recommendation, just an uh, installation guide. I'm gonna be enabling to install it, this one. And after the installation process can be completed, I can go back to the settings page. And once into the settings page, you can see the app installed on it. We're gonna set it up so we can enable it. And now let me load a website that have some ads this is, this is the Visual Moto blog website, and we run some ads on it. Let me find it and load it. Here we can see some nice and good tutorials and guides about tech and web development and marketing or SEO. And as you can see, we will still have some ads on it. It's because the extension is just installed and set to work or enable it to the Apple browser, but we're gonna need to enable these functions. So let's find out the extension. Search for its name. Here we, here we, here we go. It's gonna open a little enabling and setup guide. We already did it, so nothing to do right here, but let's go to the next options. Right here, we can see the options to the enabling the ad blocking formats. As you can see, we have three options. Two are free and one is paid. I'm gonna stay into the free options, but of course, if you enjoy the plugin, you can purchase it if you want. Once again, it's not a recommendation and there's no free lunch, so you will have. Now, just reload the page and we will no longer see ads, for example. It gonna happen in the same way with Grammarly or any other extension that you install and set up. The process is really simple and the extensions for the Apple browser is becoming better and better. And I enjoy the native apps from the Apple and it is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best.